Hello once again, Star Wars Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, with two custom figures. That's right. Customization, the paralyzing topic uh, among Star Wars collectors, but I am hanging my flag on it, folks. I am placing my flag firmly in the ground of pro customization, pro 3D printed figures by fans. I am all for it. I am in. I absolutely adore it. And I predict that we will be seeing in the in the near future, okay, a time when instead of, you know, when we all get 3D printers, when having a 3D printer in your house is as commonplace as having a regular printer in your house, which for many people is very common. And I'm very much looking forward to a time when that happens. And maybe instead of us actually getting stuff shipped to us, maybe we can actually print our own figures if we want. Now, I, I wonder how that would work. I'm kind of waiting out and seeing if they're ever going to come up with the idea of a color 3D printer. I don't know if that's something that can happen. I don't know if that's, if it's too complex to, to do a three-dimensional thing in multicolor format, or if it's something that it would just come in one scale, one gray, gray scale or one color, and then you have to, you know, put your artistic skills to work, which is something I am actually excited to attempt. So I have no 3D printer right now, so I don't know when that when or if that's ever going to happen might be kind of a thing late years down the road for retirement i might plan on so we'll see but right now we have two items this first one is from mark poon okay and this is a singapore uh item and this is kind of i think i'm, I'm not remembering if i if i honestly some of these things i've ordered so long ago that i actually forget what they are so let's see it'll be a surprise This is kind of interesting. I have to look and see. Maybe I did. Okay, I've been I've been slowly building up my um, I've been slowly building up my collection of droids, previously unreleased figures, and uh, this is one of them. So. The, the thing I'm, the reason I kind of gave a, a funny look, I'm going to give you a close up of this, is that I thought I already ordered this one. And I'm wondering if they either sent me the wrong one or they sent this one to the wrong person. Because I don't recall actually ordering a, you know, an additional one of these. So um, I'm just going to do a quick check. I'll be right back. Okay, my brain has not escaped me. <laughs> I already got this one. So I am pretty sure I did not order this one. So yeah, that's strange. So I'll have to do a little research on that and see if I can come up with that. But again, you know, this this is the one I ordered a few like a year ago or so, and this is the new one. Now I will say this that sometimes the item that gets ordered, you know, it oftentimes will get um, it takes months and months. So I will uh, have to check on that. So let me uh, update this in a second. Hang on. Okay, so I just did a quick research on uh, items that I've ordered, particularly in the custom area. And uh, I have no record of ordering this. So, not quite sure. I reached out to the seller. I actually bought this on eBay from, but a, from a designer, from a, you know, artistic, art, artisanal designer. So, I will actually going to keep it in its box for now and see if maybe that person accidentally sent it to me. I meant to send it to someone else. If, they're, if so, um, I will be more than willing to uh, send that back. But it's a great figure. You know, I already got it. Um, I do intend to eventually... Now, I, I thought I had worked towards um, completing the, this is the uh, Series 2 um, unreleased, unproduced uh, Series 2 droids action figures. And I was looking to kind of complete that collection, but I don't, I think either they sent, I don't remember even ordering one recently. So, and you know, this usually does take weeks and weeks, but still, I don't even remember ordering one even semi-recently. So, we will see, I reached out to the seller. So, we'll go on to this one from Boba Luga Studios. Another great one for uh, some interesting, I think this one is more customized. Um, of course, there's also, oops, don't wanna show my address. Let's see if I can get this one to open somewhere. Uh, I'll go this way. Oh, I think I got it. Uh, let me go, let me open it. Sorry, broke the box, but not the big deal. Okay. 
Oh, yes. All right. Very cool. All right. This is somebody's custom design of a Luke Skywalker Ralph McQuarrie concept art. Now, this is not something that's new in terms of, uh, um, you know, there have been Ralph McQuarrie concept Luke Skywalker figures, but never a vintage one. So this is somebody's play on the vintage figure look. It even came with the saber, or saber, the lightsaber that was um, more bigger hilt, almost like samurai sword, right? And it's got the gas mask because, you know, the idea was they were going to be out in space fighting. So this is awesome. I absolutely love this. It's got the standard 5 POA, actually 4 POA because I don't think you can turn his head very much. Um, these figures just have a great feel. Um, and whatever paints, paint apps they're using on these, they're absolutely beautiful. And the detail on this is stunning. Uh, his blonde hair is a little different <laughs> than what we're used to, but such a fantastic drawing. All right. Such a fantastic rendering of this figure. So, you know, I'm just going to slowly start to build up a collection of these you know, artisan pieces. Sometimes I'm going to get them loose, sometimes carded, you know, because some people do some beautiful art with the carding as well. So I, I, I really love this. Now I know, and I'm always, disclaimer, there are many who do not like, they are not big fans. We'll get a little guy here. They're not big fans of the whole, uh, you know, customization, um, retro style figures. They think that's something that it be, it, it dilutes the value of the figure. And my answer to that is, you know what? I appreciate if a person wants to spend tens of hundreds of thousands even of dollars to um, of their own money to do that. But that doesn't mean that the rest of us can or should or shouldn't ha or should have to. So this is an open-ended type of collect, you know, collectible market these days. And frankly, you know, everybody from big, huge, you know, conglomerate corporations to the little to the little guy or girl who is, uh, you know, just being, in, you know, having a lot of ingenuity and a lot of craft and artistic expertise and can put stuff together like these. I think that that's all the more um, better. And, you know, I, I look forward to seeing what other people come up with and it inspires me to maybe do it myself. So what are your thoughts? Put, put them in the comments. Uh, I, we, we can respectfully disagree. I know some people are very much against this, but I also feel that, you know what? Oh, poor K2SO, I just noticed. It looks like he's just standing in the corner. There you go. Uh, I also feel like, hey, you know, Hasbro, you have an ability here. You know, you have an ability to do this kind of a thing on your own, to market this to collectors. But for whatever reason, they just haven't pulled the trigger on it. And I know it's expensive, and I know to try to do mass-produced figures. And, you know, we've had issues like, you know, just the issue I was dealing with last week with um, figures being canceled, figures and, you know, exclusive target figures being canceled for no reason, you know, except that they were probably oversold. So I get that this is not an easy thing to do. And and to figure out the, the perfect sweet spot, I guess we're still trying. And the thing is, is that the barometer keeps moving and how people collect and what they collect. You know, we had this renaissance of action figures from the 90s to, you know, for that lasted about 20 years. And then, you know, with the rise of Skywalker, it seems to have kind of dissipated and things are switching to Black Series and all that other stuff. So maybe this is the next wave. Maybe this is the next step. So we'll see what happens. I'm, I, I'm excited for where it goes, especially with knowing that fans can produce such amazing stuff. I am truly excited for the fandom moving forward because it, it's, it's, it's endless and it's unique to everyone. It doesn't have to be everybody collecting the same things, which is something that it may, in some ways might seem disappointing, but in other ways might actually be better. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so the, sorry for the starts and stops on this. I had some interruptions that I was dealing with. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Check, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing page on Facebook. War of the Stars podcast that I hope co-host. And until next time, may the force and the toys licensed or not be with you.